I've been working on interior floor plan layouts for the past few days and I uploaded a video with my my rendition uh, taking the designs that had been submitted to me and putting my own spin on it I'll link that above and I uploaded that and then just shortly thereafter one of you um, viewers named Reese who is also somebody who submitted in that original seven decided to take upon himself to create a 3D rendering of my layout. I'm just blown away. I'm so enamored, so elated and happy that people are so interested in my project and what I'm working on and so giving and helpful. Reese, thank you very much. Um, I'll let you watch the video he sent over to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, his layout's pretty close to what I gave. Actually, it's pretty dead on. The only things that are different are the heights of some of the items he had to guess on because he didn't know and I didn't really describe them. But other than that, it gives you a pretty good feel uh, of where I was going and what I was thinking. I hope you enjoy this. Hi, uh, it's Reese again. Um, just a couple of things. Were you planned to have the cub burner? Um, you had the seating right next to it, and I think you'd probably be better off having a, a gap there. Um, I don't know, like an armrest or something on the seat. And the other thing, let me just zoom out for you, was um, your idea of a toilet. Um, if you had a separate kind of 500ml unit there, then let me just spin it around then you could have a compost toilet in there and then just kind of you know um, pull it out whenever needed pop it away when it's not a uh, grey water tank there next to the the basin and fresh water there uh, there's your wardrobe and let's go back over here uh, there's your seat uh, I was just wondering if you could have the um, the one that goes around your waist, the seat belt, and um, I think that's about. Oh, the other thing was bookshelves. Um, how are you going to have all the books staying in place when you're driving? Um, just a thought, anyway. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, and. Um, I'll do a little kind of tour thing for you if you want. Uh, I need you. Let's get you, drag you down a bit. And we'll go back on there. Um, so, yeah, that's what I kind of gather you were thinking of uh, on your first plan. Um, plenty of seating, so the books will be in there and in there. There's the rear door large table that can fold down straight down into there and you'll have a large bed and um, what else storage 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 drawers underneath bookshelf uh, oven sink I think that's about it really um yeah so there you go that's so amazing i just am blown away by the uh, 3d ability um, and the drawing there he sent me the master file which i was able to open in SketchUp, but i still don't know the tools i'm not really able to manipulate it right now so anyway um hope you enjoyed that i'm going to continue working on it and refining it I've spent over a week, uh, it'll be 10 days total in El Paso, and I should explain that what happened was I came to El Paso for my left eye, which it, by the way is feeling much, much better. So I had uh, a visit to the ER and the hospital followed by an eye specialist appointment. Two days later, a follow-up with the eye specialist, and then she said she needed to have one more follow-up a week later. So that total time is 10 days here in El Paso. Um, whereas I was originally expecting to be here maybe one day total. So this is a lot more time here than I had originally planned on. The next thing I really want to work on is the floor and the ceiling. And I'm sort of stuck on the floor. 
because it needs to progress in two or three ways. Either I need to pull it all out, which means I need to find a place to put all my stuff when I remove it. Or if I stain the floor, the existing wood floor, then I've got to pull all my stuff out and find a place to stay for a couple of days. So that either means getting a storage unit, a hotel room, or finding friends to do that. Basically, with those options, my best bet is really to go to Denver where I have friends and I plan on being in a place long enough to make that really work. So um, I've been trying to be productive this week. I put in the little partition wall and then I've decided to focus on my planning strategy and spend this downtime that I have right now trying to stay inside out of the heat and just work on research and layout and planning as much as possible. That way I will have sort of thought, thought through all of the processes and the things that are involved prior to the build and I can move forward. So I'll be heading north here just in a couple of days, hopefully cross my fingers after this next appointment. And uh, once I arrive in Denver, then I think I'll unload my things and begin rapidly working on it again. And hopefully things will progress from there. Anyway, I appreciate your patience and I hope that you've enjoyed these sort of planning interior layout videos and uh, the things that I'm doing sort of uh, while I'm waiting to move more. That's all I have for this episode. Savor the moment. See you next episode.